What's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Learn Japanese from Some Guy. In today's video, we're going to be looking at chapter 53 of my textbook, where we will learn how to express starting, continuing, and ending an action. And because this chapter is a little long, it contains uh, quite a bit of information, I'm just going to break it up into three parts. So in this video, we'll look at uh, how to express beginning or starting an action, then part two, continuing an action, and then uh, we'll finish up with ending an action. So uh, just to keep things kind of short and simple, I think this way is, is just uh, better. But uh, anyway, let's get started. So we're going to first look at using dasu and hajimeru to express starting some uh, action. And the, the way the structure works is really quite simple. Uh, all we have to do is just utilize the mas stem of a verb, type 1, type 2, or type 3, doesn't matter, and append dasu or hajimeru, and, and that's it. We can get, you know, starting that action. So uh, we'll look at some examples to help make it a little clearer. So we have, for example, taberu, so it means to eat, so the mas stem is, of course, tabe. We add das, we get tabe dasu, or hajimeru, tabe hajimeru, to start eating, right, to start to eat. Uh, naku, we get naki the ma stem, we get naki dasu, or naki, naki hajimeru, to start crying, to start to cry, to begin crying. Uh, yomu, yomi, yomi dasu, yomi hajimeru. Suru, we get shi from shimas, shi dasu, shi hajimeru, to start doing, to begin to do. And we have last one, hanasu, so we get hanashimasu, we drop mas, we get hanashidasu, or hanashi hajimeru. So, um, actually, you know, this hajimeru is a little difficult to say, requires a little, a little practice. Uh, at first, if you find yourself kind of like tripping over your own tongue, I, that's normal. Uh, but, you know, just practice, you know, shidasu, shi hajimeru, yomidasu, yomi hajimeru. Try this with, with different verbs. Um, and... Right now, you may be wondering, you know, what's the difference between, you know, using dasu or hajimeru? And I recommend just not thinking about it too much because as far as I know, and even after, you know, asking some of my Japanese friends, you know, what the differences are, uh, basically come to the conclusion that they're, they're the same. You know, just like in English, you can say, the boy started to cry, or you can say, the boy began crying. You know, if someone were to ask me what, what's the difference, I, I wouldn't know what to say. I'm sure on some... Uh, small kind of almost insignificant level that the, there is some kind of difference in meaning and maybe in certain situations one is better than the other but for the most part you can consider them just being th the same uh, just my personal feeling is that using dasu and again you know I'm not obviously I'm not Japanese so I, I don't know but my, my feeling is just like when you use dasu you kind of like some event is like maybe a little surprising or unexpected and that, that's just that's just me. But for the most part, they're, they're the exact same, so just use whichever one uh, you like. So as per usual, we're just going to do a little practice. So I have uh, some verbs, and in this first column here, you're going to write the, you know, the ma stem plus das, or the ma stem and hajimeru. So uh, remember, you can go to learn Japanese from some guy.com, print out the PDF. Uh, and remember, I always encourage you guys to write, you know, write the kanji, write the you know, hiragana, it's very, very important. But uh, here we have numbers one and two, so pause the video, answer these. And the rest, three, four, five, and six, pause the video, answer these. And now let's check. All right, so number one, we have furu, and so we get furidasu, or furihajimeru. And uh, please notice here that I have left the kanji character, so um, sometimes it, when you type it'll it'll just automatically have dasu with the with the uh, character or hajimeru with the with the character um i don't think these having this the kanji is wrong but uh when you're f using this structure i think it's it's more common to just write it out in hiragana so uh just like we did up up here we didn't use the the kanji characters but um you may see it like this Sometimes, but for the most part, you can just use uh, hiragana, and I think that's that's probably uh, better. And we're going to use the hiragana characters uh, throughout. Uh, so we have furidasu, furihajimeru. Number two, naru, naridasu, narihajimeru. 
And uh, really quickly, I I, uh, I wanted to talk about this character. So Naru looks really confusing and maybe difficult to to type, but it's it's kind of kind of an interesting character, I think. So it's made up of of two parts. So we have um, the first part on the left is kuchi. So of course that means your your mouth, and this part, this character right here, is actually tori, uh, bird. So these two characters put together. So we have the mouth. And a bird, and we get you know to to ring like a, a a cell phone can can ring. So if that helps you remember how to write this character, Naru, uh, you have a mouth and a bird, and you get um like a to to ring. So uh, that's a kind of a cool cool way to remember. So just um, think about that the next time you try to write this character, Naru, Nari dasu, Nari hajimeru. And we have number three. Nageru to throw, we get nage dasu and nage hajimeru to begin throwing. Number four, aruku, aruki dasu, aruki hajimeru to begin walking, to start walking. And the last one, number five, oyogu, oyogi dasu, oyogi hajimeru to begin swimming, to start swimming. And that's it. So, really simple, just adding dasu or hajimeru to the、uh, ma stem of a type one, type two, or type three verb, and you get, you know, begin doing that. Verb. Very very simple. And again, you know, for the most part, you're going to want to write it in hiragana, not in kanji. But you may see it like this, so just be aware. And anyway, now、uh, we're going to look at some example sentences so we can see how the structure may be used.、Uh, so we have number one. Watashi wa san nen. Watashi wa san nen mae nihongo wo benkyo shidashita. Watashi wa san nen mae nihongo wo benkyo shidashita. So we have sudu, benkyo sudu. So benkyo shidashita. I started studying. So we have the past tense, right? Benkyo shidasu, benkyo shidashita. The past tense or benkyo shidashimashita would probably be better since we have watashi.、Uh, number two, asoku ni iru akachan ga kyu ni naki hajimeta. Asoku ni iru akachan ga kyu ni naki hajimeta. So kyu ni means like suddenly. Kyu ni. Naki hajimeta began crying. So again, we have the past tense of naki hajimeru. Naki hajimeta began crying. Number three, ega chu dare ka dare ka no keitai ga nari dashimashita. Ega chu dare ka no keitai ga nari dashimashita. So during the movie, ega chu dare somebody's cell phone started ringing. Nari dashimashita. Nari dashimashita or nari dashita. Uh, number four, speech no ato, minna ga ban gohan wo tabe hajimemas. Speech no ato, minna ga ban gohan wo tabe hajimemas. So we have the mas form of tabe hajimeru, tabe hajimemas. So after the speech, everyone will start eating dinner. And number five, kino kanojo wa atarashi manga wo yomi dashimashita. 彼女昨日彼女は新しい漫画を読み出しました。Or you could say 読み始めま読み始めました。If you wanted to use 始める。And number six, the last one I think. Oh no, we got more. Number six, 雨が降り始めそうです。雨が降り始めそうです。So it looks like it's going to start raining. So we have the、uh, so form of 降り始める。Furi hajime so looks like it's going to start raining, and we went over the so how to use so to describe what something looks like or seems like in chapter forty nine. So I'll put a link for that in the description box if you're not quite sure how that works.、Uh, number seven, watashi wa sono hon wo yomi dasu tsumori des. Watashi wa sono hon wo yomi dasu tsumori des. So I'm planning on starting to read that book. So here we have dasu yomi dasu being used with tsumori. Which we practiced or went over in chapter forty, I think. So I'll put a link for that as well. Very, very useful.、Uh, number eight. 私はその本を読み出そうと思います。私はその本を読み出そうと思います。So I'm going to start reading that book,、uh, and this is the volitional form. So please, you know, notice that we can use all the grammar structures、uh, that we've learned up till now with with this form. So you know. Yomi dasu and yomi hajimeru are just dictionary form verbs, so we can conjugate them to the negative, to the past tense, to the negative past tense, the volitional form. So、uh, just be aware as you're reading this that we can we can work these verbs to express things that we've learned already. Number nine, ame ga furi hajimeta ra kasa wo kaimas. So here we have the you know conditional form. Ame ga furi hajimeta ra kasa wo kaimas. So if it starts raining, so we have the tara. 降り始めたら傘を買います
。And number ten, お父さんが帰るまで、お父さんが帰るまでご飯を食べ始められない。So that's kind of a mouthful. 食べ始められない。So we cannot start eating. So here we have the potential form, the negative potential form of tabe hajimeru. So hajimeru is a type 2 verb. So tabe hajimerare nai. We can't start eating until dad gets home. Tosan ga kaeru made until dad gets home. All right, so、uh, let me see here. So kaeru made until dad gets home, tabe hajimerare nai. Can't begin eating. All right, so、um, I know that's kind of a lot. But、uh, that's, I think, a really good example of what all we can do with、uh, dasu or hajimeru, the negative form or the past tense form.、Uh, so keep all this in mind. But now we're just going to look at some、uh, practice problems. And basically, we're just going to look at the English sentence and conjugate the given verb、uh, appropriately. So here we have an example. So we have, I'm going to come to Japan and start studying Japanese. So, Nihon ni itte, Nihon go o benkyo s h i d a s u So we have suru, so we get shidasu or benkyo shi hajimeru, whichever one you want. Again, remember there's no difference, just whichever one you prefer.、Uh, so here we have numbers one and two. So look, be sure to look at the English sentence. So here we have a conditional, you know, if and the past tense, you know, I started watching. So keep this in mind when you're translating. Three, four, and five. And the last one, number six. So now、uh, pause the video here and let's check. All right, so number one, we have if it starts snowing, I won't go to the gym. So we say, Yuki ga furi dashitara jimu ni ikanai. Or Yuki ga furi hajimetara jimu ni ikanai. So remember, dasu hajimeru, it's the same. Uh, number two, I started watching the movie, this movie, at 8 o'clock. So, hachiji ni kono eiga wo mi hajimeta. Or, hachiji ni kono eiga wo mi dashita.、Uh, number three, when I was in college, I started listening to rock music. Daegakusei no toki roku wo kiki hajimeta. Or, Daegakusei no toki roku wo kiki dashita. Number four, what time will you start cooking breakfast? Be nanji ni aso gohan wo skuri dashimasu ka? Or nanji ni aso gohan wo skuri hajime masu ka? So we have the mas form of dasu and hajimeru.、Uh, number five, when I finished that book, I started crying. So, kon, sono hon wo yomi o w a t t a r a naki dashita. Or, sono hon wo yomi o w a t t a r a naki hajimeta. And here we have Owaru, we'll take a look at that in part three of this series. When you finish something, Yomi Owatara, when, when I finished reading. And number six, today isn't cold at all. I didn't, it didn't start snowing.、Uh, so actually, this should say yesterday. Kino is yesterday. Kino wa zenzen, Kino wa zenzen samuku nakata desu. Yuki wa furi hajime nakata. Or Kino wa zenzen samuku nakata desu. Yuki wa furi dasa nakata. That's the wrong f o o t i So we have the, remember, hajimeru dasu is the same. And we have, here we have the negative past tense form of、uh, dasu and hajimeru. All right, so that's, that's it.、Um, that's for part one. Next time we'll look at、uh, part two of this chapter where we're going to learn how to use uh, tsuzuku, uh, tsuzukeru to express、uh, continuing of an action. So it works very similar to what we just learned. Uh, but、uh, be sure to check that out next week. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching. I always appreciate、uh, any comments or thumbs up or likes, and of course,、uh, sub subscribers. So please tell a friend、uh, if they want to study Japanese about my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, you can find my book on Amazon if you want to you know, study ahead or just you know, support the series.、Uh, but that's it for now. We'll see you guys next time. Mata ne.